Federal Money Market Repair Plane Trains 2022 Plus, Plus Standard Edition. And this is the CNO Hidden Episode 72. And we're going to pick up with Graham right where we left off. Uh, I did do something wrong at the end of the last video that I fixed where you guys weren't looking. Makes me wonder why I bring it up. But I disconnected all of these reefers. It was just this one here has got to go to the, the Swift. So I went back, grabbed on it. Right now, in this uh, lineup here, we only have two cars that are going to Swift. This one's got to go further back, if I'm not mistaken, than, than, which is the uh, stock car here. And then the uh, reefer has got to come up closer. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what do we got? What do we got to do? Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the stock car has got to go back here, obviously, to line up with this. We'll get the cows off. And then the reefer can either go line up with this platform here or can line up with that platform there. Uh, no matter which way you slice it, we got to get the uh, stock car further back. And right now it's in the wrong order. Let's fix that. There we go. Now, where are we going to do this? It's going to have to be on these tracks right here. I don't have a choice, right? has to be all right so what am i gonna do if i put uh this one onto this track and then come back hook it up it'll work okay that's easy easy enough stop it right there uh we're going downhill and the brakes on this are not exactly Top notch. We're going to bag it up now. Not enough clearance for it to get by. I mean, I could just sneak it onto this track. It's got to go on that track anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Apply the handbrake. And then it'll be easier to push up anyway. Look at me go, huh? Let's do that again. There we go. Hey, hey, hi, hi, I forgot about these. Where do these have to go? I think these are all freight, aren't they? Why didn't I push them all the way up? I don't know. Maybe they're going somewhere else. All right. Let's take care of this for one thing at a time. Get ahead of yourself. There we go. And nice. All right, he's gonna be able to push it back up. So this one's going to the ash conveyors. This one's going to freight. Where are all these going? Oh, these are all going to hardware. Oh, that's all right. I thought I made a mistake, but I did not. Because the hardware is is, the, is this last... Oh, jeez. Is this last building right here. So we're, we're good. We're good. But now we got to get this one up. Uh, I'll get him past this frog right here. Why why am I suddenly not controlling anything? Or is it because I clicked on those other cards? All right. Uh, yeah, we got, we got more clearance than we needed there. Clearance, clearance. Oh, jeez. The Cliffs of Insanity just keep kicking me. They do not. They, they they do not like me up here. Okay, handbrake. There we go. All right, now let's try to move around a little bit slower, so everybody doesn't think that you know we're on the tilt a whirl or something as you watch this video. All right, there you go. I can't help it. I get all excited, happy to play this game again. This route is awesome. I love it. All right. Go. Yeah, that'll do. And back up we go. Ready?
And the other thing we're going to have to do, because this one has to go to hitting hardware, right? Strike that. Hitting freight, which is here. Da -da 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 -da. I could get it out of the way right now. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get it out of the way right now. Apply. Because we're going to set it out where it needs to go right now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Because there's platform access there on this track right up here. So that's where we're going to stick it. it on up. With only one car on there, even with this incredibly steep grade, these engines don't seem to have too many problems. Although they do like to pump out the exhaust, and thank God, because I love it. Why do I love exhaust? I don't know. It looks cool. I feel like I'm having a conversation with myself. I'll bring you guys in, you know, when I feel uh, the need to ask you guys something. Here he comes now. Set this out here. Beautiful. That one is now set out. How much room we got? Oh, lots. Fly. Well, that one's out of the way. Like that. I don't know about you guys, but these 44 tonners are awesome. I love them. Ooh. of insanity. Oh, yeah. Uh, they won't let me get down. This is good. This is good here. I, I can work with this angle right here. There we go. And... Here we go. Go back up now. Hook on to this guy. Now, I could... No, I can't. No, I got to run these back. I was going to say, I could hook onto these hardware flat cars, but no, I cannot. Well, no, I cannot. Could have hooked onto them now, but we're not, we're not going to. I'm not sure he's going to be able to handle that. All right. So let's pull these forward now. This one is set. Yeah, correctly. And that one is set correctly. Pretty good. Now the two Swift and Company uh, freight cars are in the right spot. There he goes. Oh, can I do? Oh, there he is. If he don't move, don't move. You've got it right there. Perfect. Now, let's see how he does with two cars. He's like in the crux. Look, he's already at one. He jumped right up to one mile an hour. Oh, yeah. 
He's got this. No problem. We even have to slow it down so he doesn't hit it going too fast. Come on, slow it down. Well, I'll be darned. Okay. There we go. Then we'll grab onto this uh, stock car here. Bring it around this way. There we go. Warn the fellows here at the uh, fruit dock and the hardware. And then, of course, at uh, Swift and Company. Here we come, boys and girls. Look at this doing nine mile an hour. He's like, get get out of my way. And we're past we're past quitting time. The boss has got a pained look on his face right now because he knows everyone's making overtime. He's like, Good, I'm I'm glad we have extra business like this that keeps us busy. That's good. What am I talking about? I'm the boss. No, but I, I'm... Wait a minute. Hold on. Here's a mirror. I, I look... There, I see myself in the mirror right now. Yep, I do have a pain look on my face, so I was not lying. All right, we're going to slow this down. Try to line this door up now. With the uh, animal chute here. There we go. Right there. Perfect. Fly. Now we want to line this door up. Oh my god, it's already lined up, isn't it? Ah, it is! Okay, so let's recouple these two then. Let's uncouple this one. It was a twofer. Alright, now back the other way. So those two are set out properly. Now we got to pull this car back. But first, we got to hit the hardware. Probably can do what? Two, maybe three flat cars at a time. All right. Now we're going to grab onto those flat cars way over on this far track and shove them up this way because that's how we do kind of weird being above the roundhouse here isn't it you don't get to see above many of the roundhouses while you're sitting in the cab of a uh, engine this goes to show you how steep this hill is Now the question is going to be, can he get all this back up the hill, or are we going to have to get another running start? we got to start beating the drums and yell out ramming speed like we had to last time. Oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> I went running down the hill. I almost couldn't stop. Okay, here we go. Kind of felt like Tommy Boy there for a second, if you know what I'm talking about. There we are. Slow it down so our conductor can jump off. Graham's brother, Sam, is the conductor today. He's the conductor every day with, with Graham. But he was complaining he wasn't getting his name in the credits, and uh, we didn't seem to mention him, so I threw him up on. Here we go. I know I can back this up, no problem. But can we take this stuff down... Below that switch we're crossing right now and then push it back up. That's going to be the question. There we go. Got it. 
Alright, back over this way again. down a little bit earlier than I normally would. Maybe uh, three car lengths instead of two. Okay, maybe maybe four car lengths instead of two. Well, that doesn't really work, does it? You can't go back and, and, and start braking earlier in the middle of the move. It doesn't work that way. No, 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 no not too bad. Okay, now, now comes the moment we've all been waiting for. Three very confident blasts on the horn, like no problem, here I come. Is there, I think there's movement. Oh yeah, it is coming this way. What do we put some sand down? Went to one right when I put sand on. It actually looked like it went to one before I put the sand on. Yeah. I can't remember what that one person told me about sand now. It's good when the wheels are slipping. If the wheels aren't slipping, then there's no reason to put down sand. It's just heavy. Okay, but we're moving. Uh, That's it. 367 tons and he can't as fast as he can go. He's got it up to two now. Since we've been watching, he's doubled his speed. There he goes. He's got it. Oh, yeah. I think he's going to make it. All right, so let's grab onto this one right here. Now, does this one let you ride? It does not. Well, look where it puts you. It puts us on the end of this car here. Hanging on here now. <laughs> That's weird. Back up. There we go. All right. Then once we get these set out in front of the hardware store, we can run back down the hill once again. And put those in the old ash. Now, did, did I only pull up half? I think I did. Did I? <laughs> I can't remember. I have. I wrote. I wrote down in, on my uh, spreadsheet. So I remember where to start the next episode. I wrote down: finish Graham working track one in Hinton. Don't forget the cars on track two because I remember I put those. Good thing I wrote myself that because I probably would have forgot it. But I'll put those tracks on track two temporarily to get them out of the way. I think those are the cars that were going to Avis. Are there more cars on track one? It is a minor mystery that I have an easy way to solve. We'll just go down there and take a look. What you got to love about the car tagger. Otherwise, I used to do it where I'd have to write down everything where it goes in my spreadsheet. It worked, but... You want to talk about a lot of clerical work. That was it. All right. Here we are now. Let's slow it down. Get it right to the end of the platform here at Hitting Hardware. So he did he did a pretty good job. I I'm I'm hearing a smattering of applause from the, the fellows here at uh, Hitting Hardware, so Alrighty. Stop it right there. Yeah, it's just two. It's just two cars at a time is what he can do. Alright. We'll start working those. We'll pull forward. 
with the ash conveyor. All right, back down the hill we go now. Now, while he's coming back down the hill, let's see what we... Oh, let's see what we got going on down here. Uh, This is track one. I think we got everything up on track one. I think we did. And then this is track two, because this is all... Yeah, Hinton... All these say Hinton Foundry Works and Hinton Block Company are the last two we got to work. That's all down towards the Avis Yard. This isn't anything, right? No, this is Nelson and stuff in Sanford. That's nothing that we need to worry about right now. Okay, so we're further along. I thought, oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, these were supposed to be here, right? Because they're working. Yeah, they're working this thing right here. Okay. <laughs> I thought we put those over there temporarily. No, we did not. Hey, look at this. Huh? Look at this lineup of engines here. Is this cool or what? This is awesome. Let's take a slow roll down in between and we get a look at all of them. I like to do this every once in a while. So cool. That is so nice. Beautiful. Okay. I don't know. Is that any good? Did you like it? I don't know because I can't hear you right. Let me, let me listen. No, 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 no. Either you guys aren't yelling loud enough or I just can't hear you because uh, I'm not getting anything. Um, so, uh, oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Slow back down. Slow back down. We got to go to uh, which one is the ash conveyors? Is it 23? I think it's 23. I might not. Well, let's let's clear 23 because the other one's just right up here. It might be 24. I for it's one of those two. Oh no, wrong key. Stop there. Now. Where is it? Is it 24? I'm starting to think it's 24. It's 24. Yeah, because they got to go underneath here so the conveyors can dump it in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so 24. Just one thing, of ash. Here we go. All right. Back on down this way. If we look over here, right here, we still have some engines being serviced. Looks like there's somebody on the ash pits right now, or is that the water tower? Or the sand tower? I don't know. And then we got somebody here in the coaling, underneath the coaling tower. This, this is nice. I didn't have to do that slow roll down the middle. Of course, you aren't, you aren't getting both engines on both sides when I did the slow roll down the middle there. Alrighty. Oh, oh, here we go. Slow down, slow down. No, no, no. Oh, gosh darn it. Hey, stop, stop, stop. Holy moly, my fingers are on the wrong keys. I, I tried to double tap to make up for it. It just didn't work. Okay, go forward now. Okay, I see how these bars over here are going through the cab. Don't don't notice that, okay? Anything happens on these, yeah. Don't notice it. Look the other way. Close your eyes and go la 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 la. There we go. Okay, so now it's in place. Bear belt goes right through the uh, side of the uh, 55 tonner wall. Of course, not if you look at it from this angle. That's harder to see, but it still does. All right. Here we go. So that one is set out. Beautiful. Now we're going to go up. 
Well, let's slow it down a little bit on this part. Uh, and we are going to grab onto this last cut here and then head on over to Avis. The Avis side of things. Let's look at this. All right. Oop, hit the mic. That's my bad. My bad. All right, back through the yard we go. Now we're clear now, huh? This is when I start slowing down the tender in that part. I don't know. I just kind of make it up as I go, folks. I suppose if I was a real engineer, that would be a judgment call, right? Every time. I'd be going through that yard, and if there seemed like a lot of people walking back and forth on the tracks or guys working near the tracks, I'd slow down. Just like when I'm driving my car. I see somebody on the side of the road. I try to get out of that lane or slow down or whatever else. Sheesh, you guys got to get off my back. Who am I talking to uh, in particular? I don't know. Anyone who's yelling at me, which was probably no. Oh, it's not easy having a guilty conscience. Fire the switch. Well, out of this grouping anyway here. There's one we're trying to clear now. There it is. Back it on up, peoples. Here he comes. Okay. There we go. Way out in the middle of nowhere. All right. So we're going to go, uh, yeah. And then, yeah, on track two. Look at that. It's already set up. Switches are already set. Got it. Ooh, I'm coughing again. Comes and goes. All right. So I uh, got this, got this, we got this. And then we're going to want to go all in this crossway, crossover, I should say, all the way over on to here. Uh, I was watching these uh, model railroaders, whom I just discovered, I believe, anyway. It's hard for me to remember. But uh, they call themselves the Central Florida Modelers Club. And they got videos that are very similar to mine in that they show a lot of the operational ends of things. Now, that's an actual physical railroad, not a virtual one like myself. Uh, and they really do a good job on their videos. Very interesting. I assume, uh, and they've probably said it, but I don't, I haven't watched enough videos to know, but I assume that they model everything, you know, as it really would be in Florida. Uh, but they do a really good job. Just go to YouTube and put in Central Florida Modelers Club. And it'll come up, and they got quite a few videos, and they are very interesting to watch. They do a good job. They do, uh, they edit their videos and everything, so you, so, uh, it's very professionally done. No, I'm not getting paid by them. No, they didn't ask me to mention them. I'm just mentioning them all on my own. Because when I see something I like, and I think, see something that I think is good... I want to pass that along. Other people. Alrighty. There we go.
Now, where these here at the end are going to the block company. We're just dropping them off there. And there's two more in the front. All the ones that have loads on them are going to the foundry works. Okay, I got it now. I got it in my brain pan. All right, let's juice it to 75 because it's 20 mile an hour out here. And let's uh, set some switches so we can get ourselves to the block company and foundry, which I think are on the same the same uh, industrial. Uh, what was that one, right? I don't think I've ever thrown that one. Um, the same, same industrial area. I guess this first one coming up here. Right down here. Uh, yeah, this is the black company here who's already got a ton of empties sitting here. Holy moly. And what's this right here? What? How did I forget about this thing? You'll have to add that. They're unloading it right now, so we'll have to add that to uh, Graham's uh, switch list. Is he going to have room to put these on here? Oh, man, I'm starting to think no way. No, in fact, I know no way. We got too many. Now, what do I do when I got too many? I don't know yet. I don't know what I do. And then the foundry is right here. Yeah, these are the C beams right here. So, yeah, yeah. How much room do we have pushing it back this way? What, a car length? That's it? Where are we going to put all these cars, especially since we're working on this? <laughs> okay, this may be a uh, situation in which the yardmaster says, say, what? There's no way we're fitting all those cars down there. We're not putting them back in the yard, so we're going to reclassify them and just get rid of them. Yeah, do I, do I even want to drop any of them down there? We can drag them back up here and reclassify them, right? It block company has way too much sitting down there. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, so we'll be able to get these two on the end out of the way at least. Well, actually, we could even put them out on the main line here. Actually, it's all of these, isn't it? Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, so we'll have to put these out on the main line and then uh, bring them back up here to get reclassified because this is... This is crazy talk is what this is. All right. Somebody botched the paperwork back at headquarters. Uh-oh. Now, why did it... Don't get mad. It's just a video game. That's it, buddy. There's no... Re How could clicking on there bring me all the way over there? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, so now, where is he? Here he is. There he is. Okay. So, yeah, we'll, we'll stick these out on the main line. We'll run those down there for uh, the foundry. And then we're going to run these back up this way and put them on the reclassification track because hitting block company. That's got to happen, right, in real life where somebody says, oh, yeah, they ordered uh, 33 boxcars. And then when they get to where they need to go, the company's like, oh, we ordered three. Somebody hit the three one too many times when we got 33. So we got to ship them back. So I'd, I'd imagine, is that real expensive for railroads when those kinds of mistakes are made? I mean, I know it costs money because you wasted the time shipping them down there and everything. Plus, it makes you look bad in front of the customer because the customer's like, okay, well, next time, are they going to have enough for us? They can't count to three, but... Yeah. So, uh, it don't look good, but, uh, it is what it is. Although I do remember that movie that I always mention, uh, Unstoppable with Denzel Washington and that other guy whose name I can't think of, the white dude, I forget what his name is. Um, he does make an uncoupling mistake during the show. It's one of the, they, he's, they're picking up, uh, they're doing some pickups. And because he's talking on the phone, he gets distracted and he cuts it at the wrong place. I think they're one or two hoppers short. 
Denzel Washington knows it immediately. He says, no, we ain't going back because I don't want to be late. So, yeah, yeah. Of course, that's movies, right? It seemed really realistic. But you can't. Can't really base it on that. Basing reality uh, or, or, or judging reality based on movies really doesn't work. Like there was a time when I stopped shaving. I just didn't feel like shaving anymore. And my wife asked me, uh, what's with the beard? What's going on? And I said, uh, uh, honey, if we live in the Matrix, then this beard doesn't really exist. So why should I go through the trouble of shaving something that doesn't exist? Yeah, did not did not work out well as I'm sure you can imagine. Movie logic is not a real thing. Okay, so let's uh like this. All right. All right. All right, all right. That's good. That's good. That's good. Right there. Now we can r run these four down to the Foundry works. There we go. Apply. Oops. It's getting dark. Too dark to see. Feels like I'm knocking on overtime's door. All right. These flat cars we're going to have to get underneath the crane that they have there in front of the foundry works. So we can offload these heavy, heavy C beams. They got them wrapped in bundles there. Well, it's not single C-beams. I'm not sure. Could a guy pick up a single C-beam all by himself? I don't know the answer to that. I guess it also depends on the size of the C-beam. I'm sure they come in different sizes. These look pretty big. You see they're wrapped together with those blue bands. Three of them wrapped together. Of course, are they cupped inside each other. So there might be six there. It's heavy. All right. There we go. Let's make sure this switch is thrown correctly. Now I got so frazzled by so many cars coming down here. Yeah, here's the, uh, here's the crane area. We need to get them under. Beautiful. Back this way. And down we go. Dead end there, buddy. Holy moly. He just plowed right into that hill. Did you see him? That was sad. All right. I feel like I'm in the Smoky Mountains. This is part of the Smoky Mountains, is it? Oh, Smoky Mountains are in Tennessee, though. Well, part of them are. are. These also part of the Smoky Mountains? I don't know. Well, the Appalachian Trail's up here somewhere. I've seen the Appalachian Trail in real life. Never really walked on it. Well, I posed out a picture as if I had just finished walking on it. The entire length. I don't think anybody bought it. All right. Here we come. Let's get it underneath the crane now. More of a side view here. What are we going to get? Three, maybe four car lengths on here at a time. There we go. 
As long as it's under or aligned with this rail right here. That's how far. Right? There's the stop for the rail right there. So the crane doesn't go sliding off the end. Yeah, I'm going to say that's a... Well, let's see what it looks like on the other side. Oh, okay. This one, too. But, you know, probably shove them. <laughs> I was just saying how heavy they were a little while ago. They can... They can the chain comes over this way, right? So when they lift it up, the chain may swing it back and forth a little bit, but they'll get it. Okay. Great. I just talked myself into that being a uh, great parking job right there. There we go. Forward. We'll see if we get any calls from uh, Hinton Foundry Works complaining about uh, the setup. Alrighty. Now we got to go back, grab those uh, flat cars off the main line there, and ship them back down to the reclassification tracks that are in Hinton, and that'll be the end of Graham's turn. Nice. Now, did I set up anything in the spreadsheet saying what Graham's working? I think I may have everything. I did. Look at me go. Looking at my spreadsheet that you can't see right now, and I got Graham working all the industries I just was talking about. Slightly proud of myself. All right, look at all the people. Lights are coming on. Watch some TV. Although back then there was no nit. nit. I mean, there was no Netflix. Hulu. Poor people. I can't survive without Netflix and Hulu. Plus, they didn't have any video games back. Hitting me right now? Okay. I know some people reminisce about how, you know, back in the 40s and 50s and things how much more simpler things were back then you know stuff like that of course you know let's let's not even talk about women's rights and stuff alright this is getting too political now I'm getting too political uh, uh, what I'm saying and, and by the way I'm all for women's rights alright so let's, let's not uh, brush that aside but what I was trying to get at is okay the people say that it you know that uh, it was much simpler and, and you know they want to kind of harken back to those days R right away when you tell me there's no Netflix or Hulu beyond any other social things that are going on of course uh, that that's enough for me right there and no video games oh I mean I was when I was in junior high and high school there in junior high there were no video games Video games, well, besides the ones at the arcades, you could go to the arcade. And maybe Pong was out at that time. You know, those little consoles you could buy that just played very rudimentary games. And, of course, that's where I got, like many people, got uh, hooked on uh, video games by doing that. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to go back to those days. I, I don't because of the lack of video entertainment that I enjoy now. Streaming services and, of course, what I'm doing here. All right, if I come back all the way back down this way. This way and then this way. And then we'll make sure. I don't think it's going to be that long, but we'll do it just. Okay. So I'm going to take all of this and I'm going to say, nope. In fact, you know what we're going to do right now? Uh, we're going to say minus, minus, or say tag. All 10 cars. We now want to be none. Look at that. It's just that easy. All right. 
and then we're gonna oh no no wait a minute well, let's wait oh jeez uh yeah I'll wait till I get to over that crossover before I take it back up we got it go ahead do we go across another crossover here or do we avoid the crossovers I forget the answer to that Of course, when I talk about... Oh, no, we do. Let's slow it back down. Uh, when I talk about, you know, going back to those days when there were no video games or anything, you know, movie events uh, <laughs> uh, uh, immediately leaps to mind for me is that one by M. Night Shyamalan, whatever his name is, Shyamalan, or whatever his name is, uh, The Village. And uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, I don't know. it's been out for such a long time. Now, can, I, can it really be a spoiler at this point? I don't know. I thought it was a really good movie myself. Um, when they find, you know, when they're, if I was one of those people, one of the, especially one of the teenagers or one of the kids on there, and I found out that I was being denied all of that, and, and you know, I was living life as a frontiers person when all this stuff existed out there, I'd have never spoken to my parents again. I'd have marched right out of that wall, and I'd have went and sat down at the nearest McDonald's I could find, ordered myself a Big Mac, and I would buy myself a phone immediately and begin playing games. <laughs> oh, mom and dad would have a lot of explaining to do. Okay. Here we are going back past the uh, Hinton Yard. There's those uh, lumber cars we set out at Hinton Lumber right there. Hitting freights behind it. That Swift and Company's roof right over there. Yo, 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 yo. Been running this route long enough now that it, things are starting to pop into place in my brain as to where they're all located. Well, that's nice. Forty-four tonners are casting a long shadow because the sun is low in the sky. See the uh, telegraph poles here, power poles. Your shadow going across. I understand that doing those shadows is one of the hardest things to do in uh, video gaming. Really got to work at it. Well, I'm sure by now that so many companies have done video game shadow effects that, you know, everyone's kind of got it down. That's one of the things that you can uh, lessen the quality of the shadows and that can give you a performance boost. I don't because my computer is handling this fine, so thank goodness. All right. Let us now run to the switch that we have to clear, which is this one right here. Yep, this one, yep, is already set correctly. Nice shot of the 44 tonners going by here now. Begin slowing down. Of course, I always talk about let's slow down for the conductor. And the conductor's way up there now. I did not slow down for the conductor. Ah, he can walk. There we go. Nicely done. Yeah. All right. Now we have to align the switches to get us onto the reclassification track. This way, then this way, 
then this way, then this way. every last switch was incorrect. What are you going to do? Uh, let's run to the other end, though. Whoops, no, let's run to the other end. Though. All right, this will be the final move that Graham has to make in his turn. Then he will have successfully serviced the industries here and in Hinton and in Avis. Although, I don't know, those, those ones down there, they're called Hinton Foundry and then Hinton uh, Block Company. They appear to be closer to Avis than they are to Hinton, but you know where the where, where are they going to put the property lines in the uh, you know the boundaries for towns and stuff. That's you know that's been done such a long time ago that nobody knows. Nobody. Knows. All right. There we go. Be plenty of room to fit all these on here. Well, now that they're fitting on here, we're being streamed on here, being shoved on here. However you want to put it, I'm starting to wonder: is there enough room? I think so. I'm, 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 I'm like 87.26 percent sure that this is going to be more than enough to handle. Alrighty, there we go. it up a little bit. I hit the cliffs of insanity. Thank you. All right. Did it handle it? It handled it. But you know what I can't handle? Yeah, it's time to go. Look at this dark, dusky scene. Yeah, it's time to go. We are in the butter zone right now, so this will bring to an end episode 72 of the see you know hint and i hope you guys had a great time i loved every second of it well now i'm thinking about it there were seven seconds three which were together and the other four seconds were spread out through the video where i did not enjoy it so seven seconds all together but out of 52 minutes that's pretty good i'm thinking so overall i'm gonna give it a five star uh even uh enjoyment for myself why don't you like why don't you subscribe why don't you leave me a comment and if you don't like the fact that seven of these seconds were no good for me, well, this just may not be the channel for you.